Our headlines today. As two million British holidaymakers head abroad over Easter, passengers traveling through Dover are warned they will face delays. Well, it's already getting busy here at the port. Bosses will be desperate to avoid the scenes we witnessed last week when coach passengers had to spend hour after hour queuing up, desperate to get across the channel. Police in Northern Ireland are warning that dissident Republicans could try to provoke unrest over the Easter weekend as events take place to mark 25 years since the Good Friday Agreement. Good morning. As millions of us plan an overnight trip this Easter, I'll be looking at days out on a budget. And these lambs are certainly hoping to have some visitors. And in sport, she's done it again. Chloe Kelly is the difference as England beats Brazil on penalties to win the first ever women's finalissima. Tracking with the fact that a man has been jailed for a minimum of 20 years for killing his pregnant wife by pushing her off a 50-foot cliff edge at Arthur's seat in Edinburgh. 31-year-old Fozia Javid died when Kashif Anwar pushed her from the rocky outcrop while on holiday in September 21. He initially claimed he'd slipped and accidentally bumped into her. Hundreds of people living with inherited breast or prostate cancer could now benefit from a targeted therapy on the NHS in England and Wales. Some 800 people will be eligible for the treatment, which involves the drug Oloparib, which is designed to treat specific cancers linked to faulty versions of genes. An MP has been suspended by the Conservative Party after a newspaper published a video of him offering to lobby for a fake firm. Scott Benton was filmed by undercover reporters appearing to explain how companies and MPs can avoid registering corporate hospitality. Commons rules mean MPs must disclose hospitality worth £300 or about $370 or more. Well, Buckingham Palace says it will cooperate with an independent study into the links between the British monarchy and the slave trade in the 17th and 18th centuries. The research is being carried out by the University of Manchester with historic royal palaces. The palace said King Charles takes the issues profoundly seriously and the royal household will grant access to its archives with the study due to be completed in 2026. An environmental group has hit out at Sainsbury's after the supermarket swapped its mincemeat out of hard plastic trays into vacuum packs. The campaign group A Plastic Planet says the containers will not go most household recycling. Some customers have reported mints turning to mush. The supermarket said the change will see 55% less plastic used and packaging can be recycled in stores. In today's papers, Bad Friday is the sun's take on expected travel disruption this weekend. We're going to keep you up to date. Simon Jones is in Dover for us. Uh, the paper reports that families hoping for an Easter getaway are facing travel hell with gridlocked motorways, train disruption and delays for those heading to France. Yes, have a look at the Daily Mirror as well, reporting the big Easter getaway began at a snail space yesterday with 90-minute ferry queues, French strikes leading to cancellation of flights and trains. The Telegraph leads with a different story. The paper looks ahead to US President Joe Biden's arrival in Belfast next week to mark the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement. As we've been hearing, police in Northern Ireland are warning that dissident Republicans could try to provoke unrest over this Easter weekend. And a lot of the papers, including The Times, feature the story of King Charles's support for research into the historic links between the monarchy and slavery. The royal household is opening up its archives to a three-year project investigating those connections.